Hey Aaron, uh, my name's Nate Everett and I'm from Farmington, Maine and I've been skateboarding for about two years off and on. I've really started skateboarding this year a lot, which is really good because it's a lot of fun. Um, I have all the basic tricks down except for the front side 180. I just can't get that down. And a few bigger tricks as well, like um, uh, three shoves and big spins. And I'm, having tr I'm really having trouble with my kickflips. And I've watched all your skate support videos for like kickflips and stuff, like legit all of them. And I still can't land them. So if you can help me, that'd be great. Thanks. Hey man, thanks a lot for your support. I really appreciate you watching the videos and I hope that they helped you in some form or fashion. Cool. So I'm going to do my best to help you out here and see what I can do now to I'm help show you. you my kickflip. That front side 180 was good. I could have swore you said you can't front side 180. Maybe you meant, or maybe you meant a back side 180. Cool. So let's see. Looks like you're flicking good. Hmm. So the flick position when you're standing still looks good, and then when you're actually going to put it all together. So if you can help me, that'd be great. Thanks. That's where it starts to fall a little bit to pieces. So let's see here so hard to see because the camera is a bit blurry hmm that is really hard to tell what's going on okay so let's see this we need some more light in there so your camera picks up the uh, motion a little faster so on that one your your front foot definitely flicked down but that previous step that you were doing where you were practicing like dragging your foot up and then popping your toe up that is definitely the correct step to actually fix that flicking problem um, I do highly recommend running through all these and getting every single one of them really down ollie front side 180 back side 180 pop shove front side shove heel flip kick flip you don't if you're gonna skip any one of them in that order I would leave out the heel flip um, but yeah definitely make sure you get the previous ones and I'm sure you can get the heel flip as well but I just want to go over the fact that it's so important to have those previous tricks down because I don't want to see you spend too much time struggling with a kickflip when you could probably just dedicate an afternoon or maybe two and get all of those previous tricks down. And that action alone is going to help your board control so much that I bet then you can get the kickflip in another afternoon or two. That's just my guess. It's an estimation. Everybody learns different. Everybody learns faster. But if you don't learn those previous tricks really well, it could take a month. It, could, it just takes way too long to learn the kickflip when you don't really have the board control down super, super, super well. And it is so important. Cool. So with that said, on your kickflip, like I said, I want you to stand still and I want you to practice dragging your foot up over and over and over and over. Set a timer for yourself. Do it for a good 10 minutes straight. And what you're doing there is you're training your muscles into just doing that rotation, that kickflip motion right here. So you're going to slide it up and then pop your ankle up right there. And that motion of popping your ankle up is actually what causes your board to do that flick. Then your back foot is right there. You put it down, stop the board from rotating, and then land bolts and roll away. So the next thing I, I do want you to do after you practice that is pop, purposely step off with your back foot and get the rotation of the kickflip really down. So first you're going to step off with your back foot and put your front foot on and then you're going to flip it, step off with your front foot and put your back foot on. But be careful when you learn that second step to not get into the habit of flicking your front foot down. Super, super, super bad habit. And it looks like you already started it a little bit. So just be careful with that. Cool, so for any of you guys looking to master these tricks, check out the Skateboarding Made Simple volumes. I know I'm constantly telling you guys that, but you should. They're amazing. They'll help you.